Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. It's good to be among the people of God. He said, forsake not yourselves from the fellowshipping of one another. And that's so that when we come together, we come together in strength and we come together in unity. Ladies and gentlemen, everybody, please stand on your feet. Stand on your feet, ladies and gentlemen, everybody except for the choir. The ambassador nation tonight under the leadership of Bishop Frederick David Patterson and First Lady Dorothy Patterson would like to introduce to some and present to others none other than a national recording choir, Ambassadors for Christ Choir, under the leadership of David L. Allen with the directing staff of Tony Pollard, please stand, Willie J. Mason, assistant director, please stand, and let's hear it for our David Maestro Allen one time. This choir is one that has gone through the storm, that's gone through the rain. They're garbed tonight in purple, cream, and gold. The purple standing for kings and queens who God calls us and presents us as. They are walking because they are the head and not the tail. The cream color that they represent tonight stands for the riches of God's blessing that showers down upon them. And the gold that they have on in writing stands because they've gone through the fire and they've been beaten. They've gone through the choir, the fire, and they've been beaten. They've gone through the fire and they've been beating. And then they come forth as pure gold. As they stand, let's give it to this national renowned choir, ambassadors for Christ. Let's give it to them, everybody. Let's give it to them. Three ambassador amens. Amen. 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 Let's give them a hand clap just before you be seen. Magnify the, Magnify the Lord, let us set so his name. Magnify the Lord, he has Magnify the Lord, let us set so his name. Magnify the Lord, he has Come on, one more time. Magnify. Let us exalt his name. Magnify the Lord. He has Give it! 
Well, if you love the Lord, come on, don't just pity Pat, but give the Lord a hand praise if you feel like you're welcome. Come on and shout glory. glory. Hallelujah. The choir this time, I will praise your name.
You ever, ever, ever have a hard day? How about a difficult week? Hallelujah. But somewhere in the middle of the week, somewhere along the way, amen, David speaks to us and tells us that weeping does endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. Hallelujah. And with that, he says things in your heart. You can always look up and say things are going to get better. Come on and say amen with the choir tonight. Things are going to get better.
songwriter one day looked at a situation when he was not saved heard a message hallelujah as the jailer did after God delivered the apostles out of jail asked the question what must I do to be saved and they told him all you have to do is believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and he'll save you that night, not only did he get saved, but the word says his family got saved also. Come on and say man, and look at your name and witness to him and tell him, Jesus saves. Come on and say it again, Jesus saves. One more time, say it, Jesus saves. Deacon Tony Pollard and the ambassadors for Christ. Drop the sound.
many of you know it's a joyful sound to know that Jesus in the business of saving. Hallelujah. Heard the joyful sound. Jesus saves. Jesus saves. Shout the news all around. Jesus saves. Hallelujah. Look at somebody and tell them to the utmost. Glory, hallelujah. Say it again, to the utmost. Glory, hallelujah. Jesus saves. Clap your hands, everybody, as the choir leads. Thank you, Lord. Like for everyone, all of I like my choir. Consider them to be a great choir. Amen. And there are some times that we have some, we've had some great times in this church. But I, I'm just thankful this evening for my brother, Brother David Allen, because without him we wouldn't have had the choir that we have. I, I like the sound, I like the dedication. And through many dangers, toils, and snares, they have come. And for many of you who are sitting here now, you're recipients of a great ministry, amen, of this choir. glory of God and to the singing of praises to his holy name to the enrichment of our corporate worship experience to the end that we may forget human personality and see only God in the music of our worship service to the end that unity and harmony of human voices blended together in a choir might portray to us the personal unity and harmony that is possible. To the holy purposes of God revealed to us in the worship experience of the church, drawing us into a more intimate, personal relationship with God, Christ, and the Holy Spirit. I'd like for everyone to stand on your feet, please. Even now, God, as we stand before you in your holy presence, Father, just as it is beautiful in heaven, it is beautiful around you. Your glory fills that place. There's never a dark night there. There's always daytime. There are no shadows there. Your choir is rolled. The minister of music is so beautifully attired. And whenever praise goes forth, it fills all of heaven. And God, because of this, as it is in heaven, God, we want, to, want it to be like this in the earth. And so, Lord, we bring these robes before you. Ask that you'll lay your hands on them. That you'll anoint them that you'll anoint the musician that's in them. And that God, even with the beauty that our hearts will reflect, hallelujah, what, what we're wearing. Our music will reflect what we're wearing. The anointing that you've placed in us will reflect who we are in you. 
God, we don't take this time lightly. But Father, as we sing praises unto you and we dedicate our music unto you, we dedicate these robes. We don't want to appear before you empty. Hallelujah. If you blessed us, God, we don't want to just give you nothing and we don't want to give you something that did not cost us. And so God, with the labor of our hands, we, have, we, we bring before you these works. In Jesus' name we pray. We lay them at your feet. Promise to do what you called us to do. Promise to bring in praise with us. Promise God to draw a more into a more personal and intimate relationship with you. In Jesus' name we pray. And the household of faith said amen. amen. And the choir said amen. amen. And the choir said amen. amen. Let's give the choir another big hand, everyone. Give the Lord a praise for the robes. The ambassadors for Christ walking up the King's Highway.
at somebody and say, I'm on my way. <laughs> Hallelujah. Isaiah called it a highway of holiness. Hallelujah. You're not going to find just anything on that road. Glory to God. Sister Sharon Allen, the ambassadors for Christ Choir. Sometimes when you're feeling weak, Isaiah said, let the weak say I'm strong. Hallelujah. What you need to do is reach down when you're at the lowest point and tell the Lord to strengthen me. Pick me up when I am falling. Make me strong when I am weak. And anoint me with your power, Lord. I need your power to fight. Say it on
Someone said the road is rough and the going gets tough. That's why you need to call on the Lord to tell him to strengthen me. Hallelujah. Some days are harder than others. That's why you need to call on God to tell him to strengthen me. Look at somebody and they pray for me. I need the Lord to strengthen me. Hallelujah. Oh, bless your name, Jesus. Glory to God. If Peter were here, he would tell you. Jesus will call you out of the boat. He'll call you in a rough time. But you've got to know who to call. You can't get out in the middle of the ocean and start looking at circumstance and start looking at your own strength. But you need to call on somebody who is able. Look up to heaven and say, you're able. You're able. Hallelujah. The Hebrew children said he's able to do it. Whether he does it or not, he has the ability. He can strengthen me. Give the choir another big hand, everyone. Hallelujah. We just got through with a season where everybody went and got some new clothes. Or just about everybody. If you didn't, you got a new attitude, a new something. Hallelujah. But at one point or another in your life, you need to sit down and really think about what happened at Calvary. You need to, it's, it's not a time, it's not a place where you can get happy because the cross was not a joyous occasion. It was a place of ex execution. But until Jesus went to the cross, had to go to Golgotha's hill and die there, you wouldn't be sitting here if he had not died. And then three days later, According to scripture, he rose from the dead. All because the Lord was looking at you and me. And they wanted to take down a wall that had separated us. He said, I want to bless you. I want to heal you. I want to anoint your ministry. I want to bless your home. I want to take down the wall of partition that separates me and my people. And so on a hill called Calvary. Hallelujah. Your salvation was purchased. Give the Lord a hand praise as the choir comes with at Calvary.
Well, come on and give God a praise for Calvary. Some of y'all think we're at, hallelujah. to be here tonight. Wonderful Savior. Let the anointing work on you. Amen. Sometimes we come to look for people to do something when God is looking to do it all. Hallelujah. We're looking for everyone else. We look for the musician to hit another chord. Look for the choir to sing another note. Hallelujah. When we're looking, while we're looking at them, God is looking at us looking to look looking for us to look at him hallelujah so that we can say he did it all he didn't just do a little bit of it but he did it all you know god is a god of completeness he don't just say one part not the other part he don't just answer piece of the prayer and then let the other part go unanswered but when he answers the prayer it's answered when he opens the door, the door is open. Look at somebody and say, he did it all. Come on and say it again. He did it all. Deacon Pollock and the ambassadors for Christ Choir. He did it all.
it on. Come on and say thank you, Jesus. Say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus.